Good morning. It is Saturday, March 20th. I slept in because I was up far too late last night. And uh, when I got up, I had a priority. I filmed an unboxing of some Dwarven Forge. The, um, the City Builder sets, because I want to check those out. And because if that video doesn't work out, I figure I'm probably getting the Hamlet set, in which case I re-get, I think, every piece in there to show off anyways. Uh, in addition to a whole bunch of ones, so I'll do an unboxing of that eventually when I get it. So it was technically a video that I could drop out if, I, if it doesn't work out. You may think, well, why would you be worried about that? You, you filmed a lot of... I, I filmed it with this. I used the cam link. I used this camera instead of the web webcam. So, theoretically, it should be a better quality video. But I've never done this workflow before. And um, I guess the goal, the reason I did it right away, right in the morning, is I now have the footage importing so that I can edit it later today and I can make sure it works before I film anything else with this style. <laughs> I'm like, let's let's just test it all first, yeah. Um, but it is cool, and you know, some of the, the city builder stuff is neat. Um, you know, I already, you know, there's a lot more variety that I don't have, but I'm like, yeah, it's gonna end up needing some of the some of the expansions that they're already talking about for cities too but uh but i suppose this will this gives me a, a better uh intro point um for it as i at least now see what's you know what things are what things look like um you know to compare so it's cool i now own some of this and um I got plenty of other things I can get done today, but I called mom and uh, I was like, hey, going to Costco this weekend. Yeah, I know she needs to. Can we go today and soon so I can get that out of the way because I need to get some stuff. So he's going to come over. We're going we're gonna to go to Costco so I can get some groceries and really allergy medicine that I'm, I'm basically out of the, in the, for the evening and I need. Um, I have one, one pill. So after tonight, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, can we do that, please? <laughs> so Costco was busy, and Mom, Mom was warned. Now she's all like, it's a Saturday. You really want to go on a Saturday? I was like, well, I want to go before I run out of allergy medicine. So I did that. And I got water. I only had a couple days left in that. And I got some meat, because I finally managed to use all the old beef of the questionable age and cleared that out so now i'm gonna start with labeling it as i put it in there i still got some questionable aged chicken and sausage and some other things in the freezer but the ground beef i've, I've cleared out and now i'll replace with stuff that i know how old it is <laughs> you know labels so i stocked up on some much needed groceries of bulk i need to work on separating out the beef. I just threw it in the refrigerator, but I'm like, it's like seven pounds that I gotta split up into bags and label. And now I'm worn out. Uh, Mom also got me some uh, tagalongs. That's nice. It looks like things are ready to edit that unboxing I did earlier with the new camera setup, so I'll do that. Here comes some things here, I guess. actually kind of hot out a little bit more than I'm used to and it's a little better this one here is the one I did today this is one that I did with the uh, webcam while back in there no, I mean it's it's a little nicer a little prettier not quite as much of a difference as I expected in all honesty it's a bit nicer I'm going to keep working on things with it. I definitely think I have a little more control with this camera. Which means that if I say upgrade the lighting maybe. I can push it even further. We'll see. But yeah. 
um, at the very least, no glitches, no issues. Like, I can use this to record and it should be fine. Uh, it edited fine. And at one point I thought that once I settled in and got back home today, I would end up recording more Mario Maker. That's not what my day involved. What my day involved was maps. Lots of, lots of working on a map. I've been working on a map for the family D&D. &D, game that I've been planning with my family for a while. Um, probably since second Christmas. And my brother's brought it up a few times. So I know he's still interested, which is good. But I have for a while been hung up on basically deciding what cities exist in my version of fantasy, whatever, Mediterranean, Europe, whatever. Um, part of Earth that I'm basing it off of. Because I want, I want to hollow it out and make a lot more wilderness, so I'm getting rid of a lot of cities that existed at that point. Now, that's just taken a while. But I finished it. I finished that part of it. I also went through and there are miscellaneous icons that I added. Dungeon entrances, temples, weird symbols, just things to be on the map. Maybe at some point they draw some interest, and the players decide, hey, I know we're supposed to be doing this thing, but but what's this? And there's a, whatever, something they diverge and they go and they, they there are symbols that will not be in the key. They will, they will just be on the map. Like, uh, like one of them is a shipwreck symbol. Just a random ship. There's a huge bit of sea. There's one symbol designating a shipwreck. There's of course been more than one shipwreck in that area, you know, in the, across there, but there's one that's labeled. Why? I don't know why. And I won't know why unless the players decide to investigate it. But if they do, I mean, of course I'm gonna come up with something cool, right? You got, you got. Now is that because that's where there was the great treasure or is it because, uh, well, that was where ships are sunk by the Kraken. Who knows? Is it good? Is it bad? It, interesting is what we're looking for. <laughs> so I have some symbols there. So basically I have finished hexographer's part of the map. Which is landscape, rivers, symbols. I still need to finish making the actual uh, map key, compass, um, scale. I need to add names onto all of the cities and, like, rivers and such. Um, they're not labeled. There also are not... Uh, I want to label some sea and land routes. Um, and I also have two versions exported to the map. One has all these little lines dividing everything. The hex grid. One is clean, and I like how that looks. Actually, I exported a third one that has grid, like, codes. But I think that's just going to go to my phone as, like, me to reference so that I can find, you know, if I need to look up, where is that city? Quickly, I can. <laughs> um, but between those two, the goal is to get the labels rivers, cities, etc., make the key, and then kind of blend the two maps so that um, where the grids would make it difficult to read text, there's no grid. Where the repetitiveness of the symbols would make it hard to figure out distance, there is grid. Basically, I will have a, I'll probably do a brush with a feather and I will just paint in areas where I'm basically transitioning from one to the other. All of that is stuff that I intend to do in the Affinity software on the other computer. Because I can better control lines and manipulate text and all of that there. But that means I've finished one program of making the map. I have exported 
uh, well, it's only 72 dot per inch, but it's like a 100 inch across version of the map. So, um, I'm like, that'll be fine. That'll work fine. As, um, while I am thinking of having it printed, it'd probably be printed at like, like 30 inches by 30 inches, something like that, close to there. So, uh, the dot per inch will go up when it's shrunk down to that size. <laughs> but that's been several hours now of just working on that map. <laughs> But I've been working on that map over days, over months, and I'm now at least ready to transition to the next stage of it. And after spending all that time on D&D planning for the family game, which I still have much more to do with, I took a you know a step aside from that. Instead, did um, mutants and masterminds planning for the for the next session with um, Bob and Ryan, because you know I played with Ryan a while ago, and I've kind of been. Saying, hey, I need to do, you know, hey, we need to schedule the next one. And then like, last weekend he was like, hey, when are we doing that? This weekend? And I was like, no, maybe next. Now it's now it's the next from that. And I'm like, still actually not ready. So I, I prepared and I proposed scheduling it for next weekend. <laughs> so, uh, so getting things together to be able to run the next Mutants and Masterminds session. Order of Heroes. Uh, otherwise, I think I want to. Well, one thing I want to do, I got stuff partially to make um, buffalo chicken dip, but I think there's a few things like chips. I have no chips. So I need to make a Walmart trip. Maybe tomorrow. And I don't know, I feel like having it tonight, but I think I need to separate it. I got seven pounds. A ground beef. So let me get out my scale. I'm gonna put it in one pound bags, label them, put them in the freezer. <sighs> Probably just gonna have some pasta for dinner. I don't know if I ever showed it. I uh, did end up going to um, to Aldi at some point and um, I picked up a number of packets of that of, of that fettuccine. I was like. But a genie is not always easiest to get. So, um, I went and got some. <laughs> I'll probably just make that for dinner. And that's probably not enough pasta, but, um, oh well, I'll make do. I'm, um, I'm tired, so I'll eat and get to bed. And You know what? I got another... Another day of the weekend left for tomorrow, so I'll, I'll be appreciative of that. And um, thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.